Overkill is our featured bull today. We're honored to be able to produce a great sire and a beautiful individual like Overkill. He's probably one of the prettiest colored black and white speckled bulls you'll ever see. He's black black with specks and roan coloring all over him and a beautiful set of horns to match his traditional breed values. This is his sire overhead. He was the first bull to be over six foot with the black and white color pattern. He's owned by Burton Stockton Ranch at Cleveland, Texas. Field of Pearls was bred and raised here on Dickinson Cattle Company. She's the dam of Overkill. He was her first calf. She also produced Super Fielder, Tempter, Finish Line, and News Fast, all being used as herd sires. This is Overkill as a calf. He had a perfectly straight back. He developed very slowly on his horn growth as a yearling. As a two, his lateral horn began to show some design. As a three-year-old, his body began to be very correct, very long. As a four-year-old, he was trim in the neck, trim underline, a lot of hip, a lot of length, and his horn continued to get longer and longer with the bright black tips. This is a pasture condition picture. Here he is again out with his cows, slick and pretty, bold as he can be. Notice the trim neck, the trim underline, and the tremendous length. He's one of the longest, tallest bulls in the breed, weighing over 2,100 pounds. He's got great hooks to pins length. Notice his horn set, the lowness of his horn, the backward twist, the length of his hip. He's one of the most correct, straight, correct-legged bulls, and he's a natural posing bull. He will just stop about any time and give a photographable pose. He's not as good trying to get him to look at you. He's sleepy. He's slow. He doesn't get excited about anything. But every time he stops, he almost perfectly poses. He's very correct on every leg. He's just quiet. He's easy to get along with, and so are his calves. About 70% of his calves are black, are black and white speckled. He's probably one of the strongest black speckled sires in the breed. Notice his low horn set is excellent for breeding to cows with horns higher than desirable. This is overkill. He's big, he's correct. He's dynamic with that bold color. Some of his calves aren't black and white, but most of them are dark with a lot of specks, a lot of rich, dark color. This shows his hindquarters. He's not a Simmental or one of those big hip bulls, but he's got a lot of rear end in this breed. He's got a lot of thickness, and he can weigh over 2,100 pounds in pasture condition. He's just a good, easy-keeping bull. He goes back to Texas Ranger multiple times, and five generations back, he traces to the old black bull, Don Quixote. There's only one source of black that comes down through his lineage for five generations. Everything else is red or done. Black comes from Don Quixote. Every prominent black or black-spotted animal in the Texas Longer breed goes back to the old tire, Don Quixote. Now this is overkill. Notice the thickness in his loin, how straight he walks, the flatness of his horn shape. Just one of those great bulls. At this time, he's eight years old. He had a back injury and no longer breeds, and he just enjoys eating, so he's retired. These are some of his progeny. You can tell he puts his stamp on calves, mostly with the pretty black and white spotted color. These are young cattle, generally one to four years old. This is an over 75 inch horn bull, Jubal Jangler. 
This is a beautiful wine colored son. He gets a lot of pretty colors. Look at the hip on this nice two year old cow. The specs never end on the overkill calves. They're fat, they're thick, they're pretty. Here's one of his daughters that's destined to be over 80 inches at maturity. It's been an honor to own Overkill. He's 79 and a half inches tip to tip, and maybe he'll make 80 someday. Thank you for watching our YouTube of Overkill. For more information on semen or purchase of his calves, give us a call at Dickinson Cattle Company or look up Overkill on the website.